Assalamu alaikum. I am Adia Pass and I am here to teach you love you. I am beginner too, but uh, I will try my best to teach you whatever I have learned so far. Before we start, there are a couple of things to know. First, I am using English as a medium because I am speaking English and this will help me to improve my English. I will try my best not to use Urdu words. You can also comment on whether I should uh, use Urdu or English. Second, uh, you can ask any question regarding Love You by mailing me at mediapass underscore salahi at daretyahoo.com. You can see on the screen my email address and I will try my best to give your answer either by replying your mail or by making a video tutorial. Let's start. This tutorial is about installing, activating and some basic information about LiveView. This is install. Uh, this is the installation folder uh, where I have the LiveView installation files. Run setup.exe or autorun.exe. It is start loading the setup files. Press next. Fill the full name. Organization. Next. Here we need two serial. Uh, the serial we can get the serial from the keygen. I have the keygen in the keygen folders. Uh, we here we need to put uh, two serial basic, base, full, or professional. Any one of the here and the application builder here. Generate the professional. I put the professional one, copy it, paste it. Change the, for the application builder, generate it, copy it and the paste it here. Then press next. Select your destination folder for the NI software or uh, and, uh, destination for the, your LabVIEW 2010. Press next. You have the here the components, the basic uh, components which required. Just leave it as they have, they are. Press next. Just go on leave it if you need to auto update check it or if you don't uncheck it next and you will get this uh, and again next installation prompt last confirmation and they start installing since I have installed my installation is completed next and it's going to finish the most important thing is how to activate it first uh, we will go to the folder uh, where we have installed the lab view I have installed in C program files uh, I have national instrument uh, full form of NI here we go to the lab view oh no we will not go to the last view we will go to the shared and the last they say here is the license manager we go to the license here is the, all the license files go to the start all programs national instruments ally license manager you can see the ally license manager click it it will run look here you can see the partial uh, yellow color some maybe some of you can see the green color uh, don't uh, worry we will make all the all of these green so go to the keygen we need a keygen we are going to create a license file for all of these uh, professional first we go for the professional development system click on the create license file here we cannot see the all of the files so we will type here steric dot steric enter now you can see all the files uh, professional development system the, here is the pds professional development system packages uh, just click it rename it to dot org to make you remember this is the original one we and we are going to create the other one just click on the save remember this name should be the lab view what is here the name should be exactly like 
this just click the save and here it will say see program files and uh, already exist do you want to replace it just don't forget uh, just do it yes and it will show that he it's created the license file that is here is the you can see the lic file go to the uh, license manager just refresh it press f5 or just go and options refresh and you can see the green button it's activated green means it's activated just repeat for all of them debug development system deployment system sorry just uh, type static dot static rename is you can see the debug de deployment system is pd sd and uh, folder de development system fds base development system bds student edition you can find the student edition here here is the student edition file you can see lc file here don't go for the temp ethernet file just go for the lc file and uh, here is the application builder and for remote panel connection unlimited you can find it here remote panel unlimited package and you can create all of them just save the original change the name the to org to make sure that uh, uh, you have the backup of the original file i will pause it and do uh, all of the activations and come back come back here I am back. I have done all the license files and created all the license files. You can see the all the leak files here, and uh, I have renamed for the original files here. And you can see I have all these clean the unlimited one application builder, student edition, professional development, debug deployment, full development, and base development system. I have activated all. Here we finished activating the live view. We will close all the windows and uh, just start National Instrument Live View 2010. I have a shortcut on my desktop. Now we are going to get started. When you run, you will see the this window. Here is the blank VI empty project. If you have any project VI form template, if you have templates, you have made templates. Here is the recent ones, recent files I have created or opened. You can browse to open uh, any other files here. We, uh, for the basic, we are going to learn the basic lab view, uh, basic things about the lab view. Just create the blank VI. Here you can see the two window, the block uh, diagram, the white one is the block diagram and the gray one is the front panel. Here front panel will show, front panel will show the outer view uh, and the block diagram will show the uh, connections between the components and can, the controls and indicators and all of the wiring and all of these things just right click on the front panel you can see it's written numeric there's a numeric control this is numerical indi a numeric indicator numeric control it will control the numeric value and it's uh, the numeric indicator will only indicate your numeric value you can uh, you can say that numeric control will give your input and numeric indicators or you can say just make it generalized that control will give input and the indicator will give outputs uh, here's the numeric input you can say the numeric input the numeric output uh, this is time and vertical fill slides this is all related to numericals, numeric values. It's the boolean, boolean imports, and uh, boolean. 
are ports you can say boolean control these are bo buttons are the boolean controls and these are the uh, boolean indicators the leds the string arrays arrays and the matrix if you any one of you have familiar with programming or any scripting and uh, he will know the uh, what is array is uh, this is decoration for decoration purpose the decoration the line the thin line thick line and you can see the horizontal vertical blocks is flat frames the triangle the circle raised one flat one he sees circles where you will put your outer or you will design your outer look of your device or what you are drawing or making here you will draw a simple wiring wiring between and putting the adding the functionalities we will just make the simple one we will create a boolean a switch I am uh, putting a vertical toggle switch here and uh, a square LED here this is uh, you can see the control boolean control and this is boolean uh, indicator or you can say that this is boolean input and this is boolean output you can see you when you go to the block diagram you can uh, just uh, shift between the block diagram and uh, front panel by a hotkey control E control is the hotkey for switching between the front panel and the block diagram panel and you can see the, the light is open this will auto select your tools uh, when you get near to this uh, point you can see it change the tool with uh, this tool this is wire tool connect wire tool from this position or size or select tool you can say it changes to wire tool just connect the wire from here to the indicator from input to output or control to indicator and just open the switch and press run you can see the light is glowing just off the switch and press run the light goes off this is uh, operate value you can operate the values of the indicators from this tool if the automatic is open you doesn't need to select the tool it's automatically or it will automatically select itself or if you are manual using manual you can just select this and put click on the boolean the boolean to switch between the on and off or if you have a numeric control you can just change the values this operate value uh, tool this is it this is enough for the basics and uh, just wait for the next tutorial thank you and don't forget to mail me your feedbacks and your comments at mediapass underscore salary at the and any queries thank you